Hi, this is Chris, and we're taking a look at questions 29 and 30 as we wrap up the multiple choice here in section 4 of SAT practice test 3. So for question 29, it says the incomplete table above summarizes the number of left-handed students and right-handed students by gender for the 8th grade students at Kaisel Middle School. Here, uh, there are five times as many right-handed female students as there are left-handed female students. So that means for females, for left versus right, there are five times as many right-handed. So if we call left-handed x, that means right-handed would be 5x, five times as many. And then it says there are nine times as many right-handed male students as there are left-handed male students. So for the males, that means that the right hand is nine times as much as the left. The key here is these do need to be different variables. A lot of times I see people do x and 9x here, which we can't do because keep in mind that we don't know the number of left-handed female versus male students. Those could be different numbers. So for males, we could do y and 9y for this. If there's a total of 18 left-handed students and 122 right-handed students in the school, which of the following is closest to the probability that a right-handed student selected at random is female? So whether or not we realize it, but by designating those relationships of x to 5x and y to 9y, we have allowed ourselves enough information to generate a system of equations. So let's take a look at what that would look like on this. So here we know that 5x plus 9y equals 122 if we add together to get our total in that right column. And we know that x plus y equals 18 if we add that together to get our total in that left hand column. So now that we have a system of equations, we can use either substitution or elimination to solve. And for this, this one really opens itself up to elimination. We could eliminate our corresponding x or y values either way. Most people on this have a tendency to want to multiply by negative 5 to eliminate the x's, and that's absolutely fine. So our top equation, I'm just going to rewrite it down here, 5x plus 9y equals 122. And then for our bottom equation, if we distribute the negative 5, we get negative 5x minus 5y equals negative 90. The x's cancel, 4y equals 32, divide by 4, y equals 8. And then remember, you can plug that back into any of the equations that you have written. And x plus y equals 18 is probably the easiest one to use here. That tells us that x equals 10 when we solve for that. So now we have a y and we have an x. And now let's take a look at what the question's asking. Because we could plug in our values here. Now we know, and I'll color code this a bit, but if x is 10, that means that this would be 10 left-handed females and 50 right-handed females, and then if y is 8, that means that this would be 8 left-handed males and 72 right-handed males. And so now let's see what the question's asking. They're asking about a probability, and they want to know the probability that a right-handed student, so of all the right-handers, they want to know what's the probability that you select a female. So here, Right-handed total is 122. The females would be 50 out of that 122. And luckily, this is calculator section, because as you can tell by our answer choices here, this math is going to be a little bit messy to try to do on our own. But when you divide that, you get a probability of 0.41, which is answer choice A. So just keep in mind with probability, it's desired results over total possible results. And the key on this is to see if you can plug in the appropriate variables to set up your own system of equations. And lastly, for question 30, so last question of this section, we have 3x plus b equals 5x minus 7, and we have 3y plus c equals 5y minus 7. So before we even read through this question, there's actually... A little bit of simplification we can do here by combining like terms. And that's always going to be beneficial 
to make things easier, if you notice that there's an opportunity to simplify an equation, go ahead and take advantage of that. So here, if we combine like terms, we subtract 3x from both sides. We get b equals 2x minus 7. We subtract 3y from both sides. We get c equals 2y minus 7. So now this is going to be a little bit more manageable, a little bit easier for us to deal with. So here in the equations above, b and c are constants. If b is c minus 1 half, so let's see if we can come up with an equation for this. b is, meaning equals, c minus 1 half. They want to know which of the following is true. And all of our answer choices here have some sort of relationship between x and y. So let's see if we could use a little bit of substitution to take this relationship of b and c that they describe in this equation, and let's see if we can convert that into x and y. And here, we already have each of those variables isolated. So let's plug those in for b and c correspondingly in this equation. b said was 2x minus 7. So we have 2x minus 7 equals c is 2y minus 7. So it would be 2y minus 7 minus 1 half. And here the minus 7s cancel out. So we're left with 2x equals 2y minus 1 half. And don't forget, use your answer choices to your advantage. Every single answer choice here is asking us to isolate x. So that's exactly what we want to do. If we divide everything by 2, we get x equals y minus one fourth, and that matches up with answer choice A. So although this is question 30, and it's definitely one of the toughest in this math section, if we have that appropriate instinct right from the get-go to simplify this expression, then that opens up the door for us to be able to substitute into the relationship given and solve without a ton of complications.